Welcome to Whiteboard Wednesday. On today's episode, I'm sharing with you guys how to lose weight through swimming. And in this video, we're gonna talk about not only why swimming is such a fantastic form of fitness, how weight loss works through swimming, and a simple five-step guide so that you can get started in your weight loss journey through swimming. If you're new to the channel, welcome to my swim pro where we share the latest and greatest to help you improve your performance and health both in and out of the water. If you're looking to take your swimming to the next level or you're just trying to get into the sport, you've come to the right place. So make sure you're subscribed to this channel, like this video, and let me know in the comments what your swimming level is. Let me know if you're a beginner just getting into the sport or if you're a more advanced swimmer trying to get to that next level. Now, before we get started with why swimming is so fantastic, I wanna give some shout outs to our community members who have lost a massive amount of weight through the sport of swimming. Our first shout out goes to Michael Lon. He lost over 100 pounds. Yes, over 45 kilograms. I did an awesome interview with him. We'll link that in the description below. Absolutely mind blowing his transformation that he did in about less than a year. Absolutely insane. I wanna give a shout out to Karen McKenzie. She lost 110 pounds. That's like 50 kilograms. And she did that in a very short period of time as well. I also had the opportunity to do an interview with her back in Arizona. Check it out, link in the description below. I wanna give a shout out to Brian Jernigan. He lost 60 pounds, which is like 27 kilograms. Awesome story, we'll link it in the description below. Check out the video we did with Patty Dieter. She lost 75 pounds, that's 34 kilograms. Amazing story and inspiration to all of us. We love sharing that. Check it out, link in the description below. And our fifth and final shout out in this video goes out to Mark Forrest. He lost 66 pounds, that's like 30 kilograms. Awesome story, check it out, link in the description below. Just goes to show that through swimming, you can lose weight, and these people and other thousands in our community are living proof that you can do it if you just stay focused and follow the right steps. So, why is swimming in the first place? Because water is 800 times more dense than air. It is a fantastic total body workout, absolutely amazing. Swimming is low impact, so you get that resistance of that 800 times air, but you don't have to actually, you know, pound your body in the weight room or through running. And because of this, it's something that you can do every single day and at any age. So whether you're 18 years old, eight years old, or 80 years old, there really is no limit on the age that you can get into swimming. It's really friendly on your joints and it's a fantastic total body workout. Be sure to check out the whiteboard Wednesday I did on what happens to your body when you swim. And I dive into the science and all the details of what's actually happening on a physiological level to your body when you go for a swim. So now that we've established that swimming is a fantastic body for your body that can increase your life expectancy too. There's an awesome study that was done, we'll link it in the description below, that actually shows how swimming can improve your life expectancy. And it's something that you can do 100% on your own. And now when I say on your own, it doesn't mean go jump in a lake all by yourself and go for a swim. It means you don't have to go to a, a class. You don't need to hire a coach. You can download the My Swim Pro app, but you don't need to go and have a personal trainer. You don't need to do it with a group of people. You can do it solo at the swimming pool by yourself following your own personalized plan. And that's why swimming is a fantastic way and alternative to losing weight. Now, how does weight loss actually work? Because we need to get this right out of the way if you're trying to lose weight and you're serious about it. And we'll get to that five-step plan. But we need to understand the fundamentals of how weight loss actually works. And without getting too much into the details, we'll keep it simple, but weight loss basically occurs when you consistently burn more calories than you eat. I know that's an oversimplification, and don't grill me in the comments as well. Actually, Ferris, I believe it. So it's really basic. How many calories do you eat? How many are you burning? There's a lot of variables that go into that. And if you're interested in learning how many calories swimming actually burns, check out the Whiteboard Wednesday I did how many killer calories swimming burns. So it's a, it's, we go into the details and we get really into the weeds. But in this video, just understand that at a basic level, about one pound of fat is like 3,500 calories. So if you have a caloric deficit of about 500 calories per day, and you can do that over a seven day period of a week, in one week, you can lose one pound, about half a kilogram, just under that. So it goes to show, if you can stay consistent and you can incorporate swimming, you can increase your metabolism, increase your caloric burn, watch what you eat, meal prep or, or calorie count, and get your calorie consumption consistently lower, and you can make that balance out to 500 calories per day as a deficit, you can burn one pound per week, and if you can do that consistently over time, you'll be able to lose 50 pounds or more in a year. So the key is being consistent. We're gonna talk about that in a little bit more detail. And doctors recommend that 30 to 60 minutes of aerobic activity three times per week or more is how you're really gonna be able to start to make this happen. You can do this just on meal prep and just by 
controlling what you actually eat, but it's really the best balanced approach of being active, getting in the water, swimming. Uh, full medical disclaimer, make sure you consult a physician before you start any new exercise program, um, especially consult with a nutritionist if you have any dietary restrictions and things like that. So just be smart with it. Now let's actually talk about this five-step plan. I really wanna get into this. Number one is to follow a plan. I know it sounds basic, but the most important thing is to follow some kind of a structure. So when I say, you know, swimming is such a fantastic form of fitness, okay, you've convinced me, I gotta get in the pool, what do I do? The answer is to follow a structured training program that builds and has a progression so that way over time, you develop not only your swimming technique, you build your volume, you build your endurance, and you can actually swim faster and increase your speed. So it's really important by following a plan that you're staying consistent over a period of time. It does nothing to follow a plan for five days in a row, and then you take five weeks off, right? It's more efficient for your body, your routine, and everything if you can follow something two or three times per week over a segmented period of time with high-intensity interval training. And with interval training, if you're not familiar in swimming, very similar to the way you lift weights. So rather than going to the pool and just swimming for 60 minutes continuously, because that can get boring and it's not as an efficient use of your time, you're not gonna be able to burn as many calories if you follow a structured training program. A few that I'm gonna give quick shout outs in the My Swim Pro app. If you haven't already downloaded the My Swim Pro app, we'll link it in the description below. It is the number one fitness application for swimmers in the world, and it's got training programs for both swimming in the water and out of the water that support you in swimming. There are three different training programs that I highly recommend you check out. The first one is the Beginner Weight Loss Plan. Great title. So we're talking about an eight week program, two times per week, and this can be combined with a dry land training program out of the water that you can alternate. So you can go one day swim, one day dry land, one day swim, or you can just swim every other day. There's also a workout of the day so you can swim every single day if that's an option for you, but you don't have to. And if you can just get started with two or three times per week, that's fantastic. The third, the second one is the couch to 1K plan. The goal of this plan is to go from your couch and get, get into the pool, getting started, and you'll swim a one kilometer distance continuously by the end of this six week program. That's three times per week. And then the third plan I recommend, which is actually the most popular plan in the MySwim Pro app, is the Get Fit plan. This is a six week plan, three workouts per week. And you basically go from sort of a couch, but you're, you're doing a little bit. I think the first workout's about 400 meters in total. So you take breaks, you're not swimming 400 meters continuously. And you build up to doing one mile continuously at the end of six weeks. It is our most popular plan. All three of them are fantastic. And the reason why I bring these up is because when you follow a structured training program, you build that progression. You go from your couch, sitting on the couch, watching this wherever you are, and you get off it and you get in, get the pool and you take action and you start making strides towards that goal of one kilometer or one mile or whatever it is in the plan that you're following. The key is to stick with it. So number two, after you fi you've figured out what plan you're gonna do and you've got your pool membership and you know you're gonna go to the pool and you're gonna make it happen, I recommend incorporating all the strokes. Now don't take this the wrong way. It's not about, oh, I coach, I can't only swim freestyle. I can barely put my face in the water. How do I, how do I swim all the other strokes? Swimming all the other strokes basically means trying stuff that's not only front crawl, freestyle. This could mean kicking, it could mean doing backstroke, it could mean elementary backstroke, could mean doing breaststroke. You don't have to do butterfly, but the idea here is to add that variety and you can incorporate that into those training programs or even before and after the main workout. You know, at the end, maybe do two lengths of breaststroke or backstroke and try and experiment. It may feel uncomfortable at first, but by adding this variety, you can actually burn more calories and it develops your feel of the water, so it actually helps your freestyle. Believe it or not, if you swim breaststroke and you swim backstroke, it can actually help your freestyle. And this is the most seen when you're a beginner swimmer. So if you're just getting started, by incorporating more of the strokes, you can actually develop your feel of the water, and it'll make your freestyle, your front crawl, faster by doing the non-strokes, and you're gonna burn more calories. It also keeps the workouts really interesting. I mean, for me personally, it'd get boring if I just swam the same thing and only did freestyle. By incorporating the breaststroke and the backstroke and kicking, engaging different parts of your body, you burn more calories, keep it interesting, and it gives you something new to work on every time you go to the pool. You might be thinking to yourself, okay, I can only improve so much per day. That's true, but you can improve drastically in things that you're not very good at when you get started at them. So if you're not very comfortable in breaststroke, and you're just kind of getting better, you will get better as long as you work on it. Follow the videos at My Swim Pro, follow the training program, and you can see great progress. Of course, burning more calories, which is what our goal is. Now the third is using equipment. Similar to adding variety with strokes, it's really important to use equipment because you can add resistance 
to your strokes in the water and you can burn even more calories. Uh, which is a fantastic thing to do because think about it. If you're already in the water, you're already going to swim a 500 meter workout. May as well burn more calories doing it and swim faster. So there's two recommended products here. There's fins and there's paddles. When you get started, you don't need any equipment. You just need a swimsuit, cap, and goggles. I'll link a few different things, resources in the description. So if you want to pick up a pair of fins and paddles, you can do that at our site down at the link below, but you don't need anything to get started. Just kind of have a cap, goggles, and swimsuit. That's all you need. And by using equipment, you can, again, keep the workouts interesting, like you mix up the strokes, and you can also improve technique with different forms of equipment. For example, with fins, it allows you to swim a little bit faster. You can do some drills that make it a lot easier than if you don't have any fins. So fins are definitely number one uh, fin I recommend product I recommend, but you can improve technique in a way that you can't without the equipment. So how fantastic is that? Burn more calories, swim faster, it all sounds pretty good. Now number four is actually something that you can do out of the water, and this is dry land training. Now this is how you engage your body outside of the water. It's really important to get in the water and get swimming and try and be as regular as you can, whether it's two, three, four, five, six times per week. Heck, there are some people out there, they're swimming every single day. You don't have to do that. Two or three times a week is fantastic. And the way you can engage your body out of the water so you can stay active and take the doctor's orders of you know 30 to 60 minutes of activity, maybe you go for a walk, maybe you go for a run, you go for a bike ride, you do yoga, you do something to get your body active. I highly recommend doing something that's related to swimming so it kind of incorporates together. And this would be called dry land training. This is what swimmers call any type of workout you do out of the water, you do it on land. So we call it dry land training. And when you're doing dry land training, this is a great way to work out on those off days. Some people actually do the dry land training as their main thing, the lift weights. And then swimming is the off day because it's low impact. So it's a great way to alternate and you can also prevent injury. Again, check out the My Swim Pro app. We have dry land training programs very similar to the three that I just mentioned and they can incorporate very nicely because then you can alternate those workouts. So one day you're going to do a total body workout out of the water. The next day you're going to do total body workout in the water and they're gonna complement each other very, very nicely. Now number five is nutrition. Now this is really fundamental. You know, I wanna make sure that I point out that although we have a five step plan, half of it is the nutrition component. So what's gonna happen is if you start swimming, if you pick up any type of workout routine, you're gonna be tempted to eat more, you're gonna be dehydrated. So make sure you're taking your fluids. Again, consult a nutritionist and a doctor or physician before you get started with any type of new program, but make sure that you're paying attention to calories in versus calories out. Remember our equation here, one pound of fat is equal to 3,500 calories. If you can deficit 500 calories per day, then you can lose one pound per week. The key is being consistent. You can't binge eat. Make sure you figure out what your plan is, whether it's meal preparation or calorie counting. It really doesn't matter, but make sure you have a plan and you figure out what you're gonna do so you can remove the negative influence of the junk food and all the resources in your home that make you eat unhealthy in the first place and also control the amount that you eat. Make sure you stay hydrated, but most importantly, stay consistent. This is the most important thing here. Consistency is everything. And if you watch the interviews from our shout outs in the beginning, linked in description below, when we talk to Mike, when we talk to Karen, we talk about consistency. Mike specifically gives out a plan of how he was able to meal prep. If you read his article, you can see what he did to get that calorie deficit and how he lost so much weight so quickly. Again, you don't wanna lose weight so quickly, but it's more about being consistent. And by being consistent in your meal preparation, your dry land training, and of course your swimming and following a structured training program, maybe it's in the My Swim Pro app, or maybe you've got another plan, whatever it is, I wish you the best of luck. And to follow along in this journey, I encourage all of you, if you've made it this far in the video, to join the exclusive My Swim Pro Facebook group it is fantastic. We have swimmers from all over the world, all different levels, people who've lost a ton of weight. All of the members I just mentioned are in that Facebook group. And it's a fantastic community to hold yourself accountable. Even if you don't wanna be so engaged, you can just sit in there and watch what everyone else is doing. Find a training program, have that like digital community of people there to support you. You can support others. And it really feels fantastic when you have that virtual digital community. I mentioned that with swimming, it's something that you can do 100% on your own, but we need that accountability. That sense of community is amazing. So make sure you check it out. Link in the description below, the My Swim Pro official global community group on Facebook. Check it out. I wish you guys the best. Again, let me know in the comments what your skill level is and what questions you have with regards to weight loss. If you're inspired, let us know in the comments. If you have an inspiring story to share with us, we also wanna hear it in the comments. I wish you guys the best of luck. 
Thank you again for tuning in for this episode of How to Lose Weight Through Swimming. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, follow us on social media, and I wish you guys the best. Happy swimming.